Hi, this is Greg. Thanks for checking out the Leadership Excellence Channel. I am delighted to offer to you the audio of my original book entitled 52 Leadership Tips That Will Change How You Lead Others. It was first published in 2006 and is available on Amazon.com. I hope you find it to be beneficial for your personal growth and your own leadership development. Feel free to make any comments below and be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you're notified when each of the 52 tips becomes available. Here's the next tip in the series. Stop analysis paralysis. Perhaps one major quality that defines leadership is the ability to get things done. A leader understands that mere activity isn't real achievement. Attaining the right results is achievement. Many leaders have the fatal problem of analysis paralysis. It is often demonstrated by constant requests for more statistics, reports, studies, evaluations and meetings. This process is usually accompanied by little real decision making because more study or research always needs to be done. The myth involved with an analysis paralysis mindset is that mere activity is equated with achievement. It is certainly true that leaders must search for valid information to make sound judgments. It is also true that effective leadership uses various analytical skills to sort facts from assumptions in the decision-making process. Yes, wise leaders do establish and monitor valuable processes to analyze important feedback on the results of past decisions and actions. The difference is that analysis paralysis causes people to struggle to get beyond proposals, systems, reports and meetings to really accomplish anything substantial. This may be due to many reasons, including the fear of failure among the management team members. Many years ago I worked for a small family-owned business that struggled seriously with this problem. Day after day was filled with meetings, more talk, analysis, surveys, strategy sessions, and finally in action. One of the family members had a plaque in his office that aptly read, when all is said and done, much more will be said than is ever done. Many consultants look back after the demise of organizations and realize that failure was often accelerated not by the decisions that were made, but by the decisions it failed to make at critical times. Here are some ways to guard against analysis paralysis. 1. Set deadlines on projects and major decisions. Everyone in the organization should understand that a time limitation exists for the decision-making process of a project. Only during rare situations should the deadline be extended. These situations would include a sudden change in market or competitive environments that may legitimately be cause for re-evaluation. If potential decisions are allowed to be open-ended without an established deadline, odds are that the tough decisions will be avoided. 2. Evaluate the locus of control of your entire management team. You may be in for a shock and it may provide an answer to a large part of the problem of analysis paralysis. Your locus of control is a trait measured by a personality scale originally developed by Julian Rotter. Most individuals have a tendency to have either a strong internal locus of control orientation, or strong external locus of control orientation. Those with a strong internal locus of control believe most events that occur in their lives are determined by their own actions rather than by chance. In contrast, those with a strong external locus of control believe most events occur by chance or circumstance and conclude they have little control over fate or to change their lives. Those with an internal orientation tend to accept more responsibility for their actions and for organizational performance. Research indicates that those with a strong internal locus of control are also more flexible, innovative, adaptive and take more initiative in solving problems. What is your locus of control orientation? Perhaps a large part of your management team have an external locus of control. Or, perhaps they are simply following your example. 3. If you believe you have a problem, compensate by getting help. Effective leaders acknowledge they have weaknesses and learn to rely on competent associates or peers who have the strengths they lack. Ask this associate to confidentially come to you and alert you to the tendency of analysis paralysis when it becomes evident to them. 
Part of the solution to this problem is recognizing the weakness in yourself or your team and taking the necessary steps to modify or change behavior. Consider that it was General George C. Marshall who said, Don't fight the problem, decide it.